Hey guys, I'm Tree and I make streamer support videos. Today I'm going to explain you how you can get an uptime command on Streamlabs chatbot. So why would you want an uptime command? So people that come into your stream can check how long you have been live for this session. A lot of my viewers like to see how much of the stream they missed already. And if you're doing a 24 hour stream or a 12 hour stream, it's cool to see how long you've been streaming for already. So how do your viewers use this command? They type exclamation mark uptime in your chat, and this will show them how long you've been live for. Streamlabs chatbot is not the only one that can do an uptime command. Stream elements and nightbot can do the same, but today I'm gonna show you how to do it on Streamlabs chatbot. Let's jump behind the PC and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So if you start up Streamlabs chatbot, you will come in the screen with the chat the moderators and the viewers where you can chat in here as a streamer or as your bot. On the left here, you see this command tab. You have to click on that. Like you see, I have tons of commands here. To add a new command, go to the top right and click on this plus. So to make an uptime command, you type exclamation mark uptime in this box. I recommend making the cost zero. This is the amount of currency people have to spend to use this command. If it's zero, it's free to use for everybody. Uh, usage you probably want to have in stream chat. This means that people can type it in your stream chat and that they will get the response in the stream chat. You can also choose for that they DM the bot or in Discord chat, Discord whispers. You can also choose for like doing it all that people can do it in your chat and your Discord and your Discord whispers that they can do it in, um, in the, the Twitch whispers like everywhere. But I recommend just having it on stream chat because this is the way everybody does it and that is the most clear for people that are watching you. And here it says enable. Of course you want to set that to true because then it works. <laughs> and here it says group. This means that if you have it on general, it can be used whatever game you play. You can also set commands to only work for certain games. For example, if you do this open bracket, and I don't know how this bracket is called, but it's like a, a square bracket, I guess. And then Gabe, and then a closed bracket, and then Overwatch. This command will be only be used if you play Overwatch. Other than that, it can't be used, so make sure to keep that on general. Right here you see permissions. Right now it's on everybody. This means that everybody can use the command. You can also make it only available to moderators, VIPs, subscribers, or maybe only just you. Then here you can set a cooldown. This means that they can't use the command after a certain amount of time, so let's say I set it on 10, then the command can only be used once every 10 minutes. You can also set it on user cooldown, which means that this user cannot use this command again every 10 minutes. So let's say you can set the user cooldown on 10 minutes and the normal cooldown on zero. This means that one person can only use the uptime command every 10 minutes, but the rest of the chat can still use it within the next 10 minutes. Then we have response. This is the important part. This is the response of the bot, which we need to make sure that it's going to respond with the current uptime. There are a few ways to do this, but you need to at least use dollar sign uptime. For example, you can do only dollar sign uptime, just like this. What does that do? Right now, if somebody types exclamation mark uptime, they will only see the amount of time you have been streaming without any message. What you can also do is make a sentence out of it, like this, tree has been streaming for X amount of hours and like this it is a little bit more professional and a bit more complete than only the uptime but this should work <laughs> and at the end it says sound file this means that a sound alert will go off if you select a file here I would not recommend doing this for the uptime uh, command but you can do that if you want I, I don't holding you back on that you're all set now the uptime command should work let me know what you want the next video to be about in the comments don't forget to like, subscribe, click the little bell icon, and I will see you in the next video.